In this training tutorial, we will use interactive tracer injection. First, mark the water injected by the specified well to see the area where it spreads in the formation. Then, we will analyze do we have water breakthrough from our injectors to neighboring producers and the time of breakthrough. I open the model in T-Navigator and run calculations. The injectors are visualized with blue color. Now we see that the well number one switches from production to injection. So we can stop calculations now and move time slider back to that time step. Then I press right mouse, click on the well and select edit it. In the well properties dialog, switch from geometry tab to control and check tracer box. And we can choose tracer name and its concentration. Use concentration 1 to mark all injected water. Press save. Let's mark water from another injector. Move time slider and see that well 34 also switches from production to injection. Do the same for this well. Move time slider back to continue calculations from the time step when we introduce tracer. Press run again. In calculated maps, we have ASP flood and tracers at the end of the list. Two maps of our wells are already there. Go to Tracer Water 1 Concentration. Let's switch from 3D to 2D view. Select Average in the drop down menu. Right mouse click on the palette to choose palette mode. Logarithmic to see more detailed distribution for small valves of tracer concentration. Switch between maps for two tracers. Now we can see that we have water breakthrough in the neighboring producers. Let's make a vertical cross section of the model to see in which layers it happened. Press on the profile button and start to click on blocks. A vertical section will be made through the centers of these blocks. Press OK and go to the drop down menu to select profile there. Stop calculations. Now we can move time slider back to playback results and analyze in which layers we have water break through to producers. And the same for another well. It is possible to see two tracers on one map. Yes, let's build a user map to show it. I go to User Maps, Map, open the calculator, find maps of tracer concentration in the list, and press on them to have their mnemonics in Map Arithmic command line. Add plus between them, and press Enter. Now we have this map only for the time step where the time slider was. To analyze this map at all time steps, Press right click on the map name and select Auto Update in the drop down menu. Move time slider to see water flow in dynamics. To get the exact time of water breakthrough, we go to Graphs tab. Tracer is the last in the graph list. Select the producer we are interested in and check production rates for tracers that mark injected water. See the curves of tracer production. Now we can get the exact time of water breakthrough. We can also visualize tracer concentration in the well's production. Use production concentration graph for this purpose. Enjoy working with T-Navigator and see other training tutorials for more details. Thank you for your attention.